the good in this is that I don't have to be exposed to cat calls, which always angered me or meant trying to play me with alcohol. I was almost raped by two guys at age 18, not knowing if I was dreaming until the next day. A friend confirmed it and rescued me from them. I don't have to get sleazy comments, respond bitchy, and then turn them on. Further because they know, like how feisty I am. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Certain things are best left in the past. But at the same time, now, I've just become the face in the drive-thru window. Getting her daily coffee and carrying on as a whole different creature, a plainish one. Is that fun? Um, it's like you have unplug your beautiful Christmas lights and display and never plug them in again. And then you say, no one will notice them anyone. They don't shine. It's like they're not even there. Even though they actually are. I feel bad saying or admitting that I've been conditioned by society. I didn't want to be, but I was. And as a result of getting older, things pretty bad. I heard once the analogy, the higher and the pedestal, the harder to fall, and the more pieces you shatter into is the part I add. I feel like younger generations perceive me as I've always been this age. And that I could never had had a past life of being physically beautiful or, or even sexual. I'm not perfect, but I definitely dress more than stylish than I used to. So instead of men running out of buildings so to tell me, I'm beautiful. Now women run out of buildings to tell them... Mm. To tell me they love my shoes. What the fuck?